Chariots, it's Cave Johnson. If you get through this next room, you'll get a bonus. And that's on top of the bonus I gave you this morning. <laughs> Don't thank me, because you're the real boss. Why? Because you teach me something new every day. Chariots, you test subjects are the best. Oh my gosh, Chariots. Hello, everybody. And welcome back to Anagras Like All, Saskatchewan Creations ASMR. We're back, well, we're back on the Pool 2 workshop, playing some more maps. I think that was more of the perpetual testing initiative storyline right there, but I still had my captions off from last time. Anyways, today we are playing, what is it? The Hall by Psycho Lizard. Now, this map is interesting because in the thumbnail for this workshop post, it shows the corridor from that one cutscene in Half Life 2, Episode 1. Slash two, I guess. From Dr. Mossman's cut Dr. Mossman's transmission. So let's see what happens here and see if it relates to that image in any way. The hall. It's just looking like a petty map. Oh, okay, I see. It's one of these world portal maps, is it? That's a bit anticlimactic, but well, what can you do? I'll take this companion cube. It, it, it's just another world portal thing. Oh, it's even double-sided. Wait. Oh. Well, that is unusual. Was that? Oh. Okay. I thought. I thought that was just a solid wall, but no. It was the other side of the hall. Well. It is just a stock petty chamber with a world portal in the middle. That's all there is to it. That wasn't that interesting. So let's move on to another map then. Ah. Now th I think this is one of the more popular maps on the Portal 2 Workshop overall. This is Auto Assemble by The Cat. Now that's with an underscore in the middle of the name between The and Cat. Auto Assemble by The Cat. I think I know why this is one of the most popular maps on the Portal 2 Workshop. Is if we step into this rather empty looking plane here. Something magical happens. A whole test chamber is built before our very eyes. Something just moved. We have an empty pit. There's no threat down there. We can just. Activate the slight bridge, I guess. Is that the end? I think it might be. Yep. And that was auto assembled by the cat. There you go, that's how you spell their name. So let's go to another one then. And now we are in Aperture's Outdoor Playground by Escaper. I presume it's just a portal playground map. Yeah. It's a rather nice looking portal playground map, because it's actually out it's exposed to the outdoors and it has this nice amber lightning lightning? This nice amber lighting of the evening. It's just a portal playground, but you know, I thought I'd visit anyway. So here we have our horizontal light bridge. A vertical light bridge. Got gels separated by a nice handrail. Got faith plates. We Oh, that one's vertical. Oh, and apparently there's a fizzler on the ceiling. There's a there's a, there is a solidity grid to keep us from leaving this chamber through the ceiling. So what do these buttons? Oh, this is funnel polarity. The funnel is right there. Yeah, it's a funnel polarity button. Here we have cube spawners, regular mirror, and ball. We just hold over there. Here we have turret. Oh, hi. Oh, I just, I just want a turret. Well, okay. Turret, turret spawner, of course. You have a fizzler that can be toggled. I'm not sure what you, you would use that for. Here's a vacuum tube for disposal. Here we have death water if you want to die. 
with that interesting shader going on. Here we have a crusher. Come here, ball. Death. Goodbye, ball. You see him got a nice hole in that grating to go through. Is that all there is to see here? You see textures for the gel pumps. These random monitors with the aperture logo. You know, grandiose advertising. Exit 8. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. Indeed, I won't. Well, there's also a laser here. In case you want your laser. I'm good though. I don't need the playground of any, any right now, so I think I will just leave. Thank you for the fun. It was well worth the money. I didn't pay any money to play this. And now, we are in Chamber 13 Aftermath by a familiar face, Skyrule. I believe they made the diversity to map we played not that long ago. This is a, this is a this Portal 2 destroyed version of Chamber 13 from Portal 1. See our elevator shaft back there is blocked off by all this rubble. Where did all this rubble even come from, you may ask? I do not know. Let us do that. Uh, that texture is aligned incorrectly. How lovely. Alright then. Let us do the test. Make our way to the exit. That is a small ant line. That is half size. Why did you do that? That's weird. Alright then. Oh, and we are Bendy. Hello, Bendy. I have the weirdest feeling that I might have gotten stuck here somehow once. I just get this feeling of deja vu. Anyways. We don't have energy pellets, though, unless you have B-Mod mounted in this map. So how exactly is this going to work? I don't think I have B-Mod anymore. I had it on my old Pro 2 installation back on the last computer, but this is a new computer that happened since then. So I'm not sure how exactly we're meant to... Wait. What was the... I don't remember what this receptacle was for in the original. Was it ju was it just for activating the platform that's no longer there? It's not even a split place where the railing would have gone. Unusual. All right, we can just leave, I guess. Well, as simple as that. That is Chamber Thirteen Aftermath. Accurate depiction, if not for the weird half-sized ant lines. All right, does it magically end when we step inside the lift? Let's see. Yep, it magically ends. Well, this video is still not all that long, so I suppose I'll play one more. This next one might be a bit of a longer one. Now we are in stopping, but stopping potential by Mr. P. Kiwi. If there's a joke in that name, I don't know it. Anyways, this may be a regular test chamber. Here's an interesting fact: you're not breathing real air. It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. Did you now, Gladys? Did you really find that interesting? Anyways, this does indeed look like a full regular test chamber. Pardon for the cut there. My throat is a little dry because I was eating chips earlier. <clears throat> you don't want to hear me coughing a whole bunch after I've been nice and gently quiet for the whole of this episode. Anyways, we indeed have a whole regular test chamber here. Let's see what we can solve. So up here, there is a button. And this button turns off a fizzler. <laughs> looks like that's our exit over there, but it looks like we have a bit of airlock action going on here. A yeah, chamber lock action going on. You can open one door but close the other with this one node. So it seems like we, we need to do a little bit of blocking trickery to be able to get through this. The laser was just over there. So, 
seems, it seems like by this marked wall that we might project the laser out of there. So, align it right about here, in this little cross section. See if that may work. So if I, if I do that, that switches the doors. But I need that other cube back. Interesting, so we do that with our portals still on the laser. Move that back, and we take this with us. So if the fizzler is closed, we cannot walk back through the middle, but we can go through our portal. Now if I move that there, that happens. Now the question is... Ah, uh, I know. What we need to do, we just need to place this in here beforehand, and then move your portal into position. You can't shoot that wall from here. I'm betting that was strategically done on purpose. Oh. Are, are you... Are you are you serious? The laser is auto... Correction redirected it into the node. That's rude. You'll have to try that again, I suppose. Move it a bit farther away from the wall. Will this work? There, that worked. The autocorrection will not screw me over that time. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? Good work, Gladys. Oh, sorry. Good work, Gladys. Oh, I couldn't take the cube with me. Anyways. Nice reused acid from the end of Portal 2. But it looks like we might not be going through that door this time. Because like instead we have to go down. What could be down there? There is a pathway. And a slowly moving test chamber. That is neat. You don't see that detail uses often as background fodder in a map. A little bit of that thing sparking and moving. It's neato. Well, let's, let's not linger too long. Next test chamber, this way. Will there actually be a test chamber? Let's see. We, we might loop over the path there. Maybe. Danger. Mm, enticing. But sadly, we are not as strong as Alex with the Alex's. Oh, and this, and this looks like a reused asset also from the end of Portal 2. Is where the is where you see the first bomb tube, but there is no bomb tube. So what will be in the next room then? A conveyor belt? Oh no, this part is also different. Okay, may I take this chair, please? I can take this chair. This seems suspicious. This this seems suspicious. Okay, that door is closed. That door is closed. What is happening in here? What is a shadow? That is a weird shadow. What is that even? Like that is that can't be the grating shadow. That's too weird. What even is that? It's got little red lights on the floor. They kind of look like flares. Wait, can I jump up here? Are there any Easter eggs up here? If I jump back? Nope. Okay. I shall be going then. Ah, uh, into more testing. Okay. I was kind of hoping the map wasn't over yet, just so this video was adequate length. Oh, oh. Right. I call this one Smash. It's an early work of primitive expression. I'm a little embarrassed at how crude it is. Still, it will smash you. Ah, yes. I forgot that this room is in the thumbnail of this map. It's, it's quite unfortunate that it's what I've settled myself with. So this seems to be worked off of a co-op map. And that's our exit over there. We need a laser to open it. The laser's up there. It's going through a node. Okay. Well, I want to grab a cube first, so let's go over here to these buttons. And I resume we need we need we uh, we need this funnel. So two cubes, a regular cube and a laser cube. 
No fancy. No, I see. That node up there is powering the crushers. So there's going to be a little trick here of how exactly we achieve this. So if we go up here with cubes... I lost a cube already. So... See, we probably block... We block... We block this with the laser. No, I just got the sneeze I talked about last episode. So we block that. That stops the crushers, but then the laser cube can't reach that, the node. Quite vexing, if I do say so myself. We cannot, we cannot portal the laser directly into there. So if I were to remove this and just do this, we still have a problem. Or do we? Perhaps see a solution? Perhaps. So, the orange portal stays in place. I'm not sure what this divot is for. So, the solution may involve this funnel. I'm curious. Can I stand here? Can I crouch here safely? That is discomforting. Oh, shoot. That is wrong. That is wrong. Oh, I'm out. I'm out. Okay, so... That was a foolish, de foolish decision. So I must rethink my life. Ah, but what if I were to do this? We shall do this. Yes, this seems like it should work. So now we waltz on over to the exit. Is there a safe zone? Yeah, there is. So what we do is... Oh, you scaled up the floor texture here. That's not right. If I stand here and do this, we are clear to exit. Well, that was a nice test. Okay, that was a good test then. I think I'll cut it off right there. So next time, hopefully we'll be off ASMR mode and continue playing some more maps. So until then, my name's Adam Grezegos, also known as Sketching Creations, and I will see you then. Thanks for watching.